all right y'all welcome back to the channel today what we doing we're back inside the mpc software i haven't been in the mpc software in a minute probably since they released the 3.0 i've been on standalone so let's get back in the software let's see what's going on let's see if i remember what i'm doing in the software all right let's go let's get it man let's go let's find something to mess around with let's find a piano all right let's go ahead and do something like that let's go uh what's the tempo we want to go with i haven't been on the mpc key 61 in a minute i forgot where the layout all right let's remember undo shift stop all right play record that menu browse got it got it got it touch strip got it got it got it all right i haven't been in here in a while man let's go let's go to menu see i'm still using it as standalone instead of using it as software before i was just heavy in the software and now i'm just in the it's crazy how your mind works you or your brain works before the 3.0 i was heavy in the software i did everything from the screen since the software up since they updated the 3.0 it's like i remember everything that's on the standalone it's crazy all right so let's go man let's get it we starting at 140 Move that over. All right, I remember I want to move that. There we go. All right, let's copy these. See, this is what I love with the software. I can copy that and copy this. I can skip that. In the standalone, you can't do that. All right, let's go. In the standalone, you have to select everything like this, like how I've been showing y'all how I do it. But here I could just select that, select that. If I want that, I could do that. They need a function in the in the standalone that can do that. Command C, Command V, Control Z. Let's do Shift Stop. I like that. Let's lengthen this one. Command C, Command V. Let's move it up. Alright, it's coming back to me, man. Alright, let's move this one right here. Alright, I like that. Let's go ahead, go to a new track. Let's do a um, plug-in. Um, you know what? Let's undo that. Let's go to the plugin. Let's hit the pencil and let's do uh duplicate with notes. So we go to track two and then it have the same notes. All we gotta do is switch the sound. Let's pick let's pick something else, another sound. All right, I like that. All right, let's go ahead and copy these. Command C. Let's go to a new track. Let's get a plugin. All right, so the stuff that we just copied, let's hit Shift Stop and let's hit Control V. Let's see where it drop it. Now let's listen.
All right, I like that. I like that. All right, let's duplicate that sound. So we'll go to the pencil icon and just duplicate the track. We keep that where it's at. Let's switch that sound up. Let's put a reverb on there. All right, I like that. Let's go ahead and double this in length. So we can have eight bars now instead of four. Let's go. Like that. Oops, right here. Nudge these two over. All right, that sound better. All right, I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that a lot. All right, now what we got to do, let's go ahead and go to Submix. Bring everything to Submix. Right here. Submix 1. Submix 1. Submix 1. Submix 1. Let's add in, um, let's add a, Compressor, let's add a compressor to it. All right, I like that. Now let's go to um, another track. Let's go to main, new track. Let's do a plugin. Let's go ahead and grab arcade. Let's see what we can find in here. This is the sound we're going to use from Arcade. Alright, just these two. Alright, let's go. All right, so what did I just press? All right, so inside the standalone, if I use arcade, I have to bounce it to an audio track. With this, I really don't have to bounce it to an audio track because I'm inside the software. All right, so we're gonna leave it as that. But at the end, I'll bounce it off, bounce it out after everything, just in case, you know, just to save my audio. All right, so. Let's go. Let's go ahead and start adding our drums now. All right. Let's go. Then we can come back. And if we want to add halftime, we can do that. All right. But let's go ahead and start adding our drums now. All right. Let's go ahead and add our hi hats now. Let's go. All right. Let's go ahead and add our claps.
Let's go. Let's go ahead and turn this down some. That submix, I gotta turn that submix down some. That submix is a little bit too high. So let's go to mix. Let's go to our submix. Let's go. Alright, let's go ahead and add our kick. Then we're gonna add our 808s. Alright, let's go. Copy that. Let's copy that. Let's go to main. All right, new track. Let's go get our 808 and let's drop it in there. Plug in. All right, let's check out the 808 now. Alright, so we're going to go back to Arcade, and let's render this to audio. Alright, let's go ahead and transpose it. Let's hear what that sound like. But let's mute our audio track, right? We gotta mute this. Because we gotta push this down by itself, right? Because it's an audio track. When I do the transpose, it doesn't transpose audio. You have to go in and transpose the audio by itself. So let's go. Let's transpose it down. I like that. Let's go down. This joint is fire. Every one of them is fire. Let's go down. I like that, man. All right. So now we got to go inside this audio track, right? And transpose it by itself. So let's select the audio track. All right, now let's listen. All right, I don't like that. Let's go up. All 
Spotify, YouTube. I'm going to leave it off there for now. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat, man. That's it. Back in the NPC software. I ain't been in it in a while, but I was struggling a little bit trying to figure out some stuff where it was some stuff at. But... I got it, alright? Let's go. This beat is fire, man. Let me know who you can hear on this beat, alright? Let's go. Let's get it as always. Thank you. Let's go.